Hello everyone, welcome to Let's DevOps. I am Sumit and today we are going to discuss about how to configure Octopus external feed for JFrog Artifactory. Through our demo, first we will configure the external feed and then we will use the Octopus project to deploy the package. For all the demo and discussion, I will be following this article. You can find the link of this article in video description. Now let's understand what is external feed in Octopus and when to use it. External feed helps to configure package from external source so that it can be deployed or used in Octopus. Now let's assume that you are using some external source to store or manage your artifact like JFrog Artifactory or Azure DevOps and now you want to deploy them using Octopus. In this scenario, we will first configure the external feed and then we will use in our Octopus deploy process. Coming to the architecture, we have two main components. One is Octopus Deploy and second is a JFrog Artifactory. So with the help of JFrog Artifactory configuration, we will first create external feed in Octopus and through the Octopus Deploy project, we will create a step called Deploy Package which further takes the packages from the external feed and deploy to the deployment target. Deployment target can be your virtual machine or maybe on a cloud hosted machine. Okay. about the setup. So in this setup, first we will try to create external feed. Second, we will add a deploy package in Octopus project. And third, with the help of Octopus deploy, we will deploy the package to the deployment target. Okay. Let's go in each component one by one. So first we need to create external feed. So for that, we need to first connect to the Octopus. So I have connected to my Octopus and then I need to go to the library and then external feed and under that I need to select the add feed. Okay, so I'll go here. From here I need to go to library, external feeds and here I need to select add feed. Now here I have to fill some information. Since we are going to set up that external feed for a JFrog artifactory, so I need to get this detail from the JFrog. So let's go and see the next step. So step Third says that we need to get below details that URL, username and the API key from the JFrog Artifactory. So let's connect to the JFrog Artifactory. So here if you notice, I have a, a repository, an artifact called SRS test demo and this is a NuGet package which I'm going to configure in Octopus. Okay, so uh, since I'm going to show this as part of a demo, and uh, I'm also going to uh, expose some of the key, which uh, definitely I'm going to delete after this session. Okay. So you need to go to the, your respective repository and then you need to go to set me up. Under here, you will be selecting that your repository. So I'm going to use this for SRS test demo. And this is of type NuGet. Assume that if you are going to set it up for Maven or a different project type, you just need to go and select the respective NuGet feed. Okay. So let's go back to the external feed and let's see what are the details we need to feed. So first is the feed type. So assume that if you are going to select for your uh, different feed of type help maven or uh, dif different github repository docker container registry, you need to select accordingly. So for this demo, I'll be selecting the NuGet feed. Okay. And here I'll be giving the feed name. So it can be maybe a demo, demo project. And here I need to provide the URL. So this URL, we need to get it from the JFrog configuration. So here, if you see under the configuration, you will be seeing what is your source. So I'll just copy this and then I will paste it here. And here in the credential, we need to provide the username and password, right? And that details, you can get it again from here. Sorry. Okay. So this is the username and uh, this is my password. So since I'm going to delete this repository because I'm I'm exposing my secret here, but that is fine. And uh, this username is my own uh, email account. Normally, if you are going to use for your project, it is best practices to use the service account. So I'll use this username as of now. And then I will put it in here. And this is very important, the API key. API key or a password is same here. Okay, so I don't know why. 
so that's all so this is all we need to configure so i'll just click on save and test now here it comes to that uh, if you want to test whether your uh, package name is appearing or not for that you need to also uh, just test this validation so i'll go first and check what is my the package name so package name always comes the first and after that you'll have a version so in this repository my package name is deploy package so i'll just try to search with the deploy package deploy package and then i'll do search so here if you notice i'm able to see my packages right now let's go back and uh, this all i have configured now okay fine okay so next is like once we we are done with our uh, configuring the external feed now we need to configure our octopus project so that it will deploy the packages from the external feed to that our deployment target now coming to the configure octopus project so since we have completed with the external feed configuration now we need to use the external feed in our octopus project deployment right so for that we are basically configuring here and uh, this is the step which is given so let's go to the project so i have one test demo and here i have already configured one package so i'll just try to remove it delete all the step and then i'll just create a process i will just add a package here and then i will add a deploy package okay so here i need to select uh, the role so currently i have configured my uh, deployment target as a web deploy and here instead of octopus server we need to select our demo project so this is the external feed which we created and our uh, octopus package is package id is deploy package if you get any error here it means that somewhere uh, wrong in your configuration so you make sure that your external feed is corrected correctly configured as per that jfrog configuration okay and now so assume that i want to uh, test this also in my system so first what i'll do i'll try to add a configure features where i'll say that okay i want to see the package okay in a specific uh, folder so let me see if i'm able to deploy to the see, test test package sorry okay and i'll save it okay now i'll create a release and i'll save it and now i will deploy to the deployment so with this uh, basically uh, the package from the external feed will get downloaded and get uh, up updated to the particular uh, development environment now the deployment has been completed if you see here basically it, it has taken the latest package and then it would have deployed on this deployment target under the c test package so i'll quickly connect to the the server and then see whether the package has been deployed or not and in this package if you notice we have this target nuget package and under that we have a bin and then we have net core app and these are the dlls and so basically with this uh, package folder it should be deployed to the server so let me connect to the server so this is the server and under that we should see the test deploy package under the c so here is the folder and this is how it deployed right so we have all this dll and exe so i think that's all for this demo so let's go to the article now let's see receive that okay i think that's all for that this demo thanks for watching this video i hope this will be helpful if you have any issue in your configuration you can write in the comment box i'll be happy to help thank you and have a good day bye bye